Hello uh, and welcome, my name is Miss Multiconsole and welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV. Today we are going to be doing something called the Hildebrand Questlines or something like that. It's supposed to be a really funny and really interesting storyline that I've been asked to record by a couple of people now so I figured I would try it because it sounds like fun and I'm always interested in funny and unique quests and stuff to do so let's do it let's do it I'm excited let's go the rise and fall of gentlemen there is actually I believe some skins and some minions and some goodies from this storyline as well so I'm really looking forward to this because I have put this quest line off for quite a while I've been saying to myself yeah I've got to do that quest line and then I just never get round to it because there is just an endless supply of stuff to do in this game there's just so much to do I have loads to do in this game I'm only like a bit into the heavens sword storyline so I still have quite a lot of story to do in this game and it's quite lengthy. The first part of the reward seems to be a phoenix down which I think I've already yeah I've already got one and if you've played Final Fantasy before you obviously know what a phoenix down is because it revives people of course but anyway an old acquaintance of Wymond is at wit's end and the businessman would have you help her. Okay, I know this quest line is something to do with the owner of the gold saucer and I do know of him because I participated in a gold saucer event a long time ago and I believe he was in one of the events so I kind of know who he is, vaguely. I hear you've been busy as a bee miss, seems half the whispers what come my way relates to your comings and goings. Being the active type you are, I reckon you'd be interested in investigating some queer rumours, am I right? But before that, let me ask, ever heard of a man named Hildebrand? Yes I have. <laughs> yes. Oi, you don't mean to say you knew the bugger. I thought he thought himself famous, but thinking it, don't make it true. Shame that he had to go and get himself killed. Oh my god, he's dead. How did he die? I bet he's not really dead. I don't believe that. He doesn't seem the type to die easily. He seems like the really gimmicky type. I bet he faked his death. I bet. <laughs> All that nonsense about stopping Dalamud himself. What in the seven hells was he thinking? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what goes on inside that crazy person's head. <laughs> There's this golden statue of him half naked in the gold saucer, so don't trust that guy. <laughs> Least it was mercifully quick. Still, judging from the depth of the crater, he must have fallen from an unfathomable height. Crater? Damn. Gods only knows what was going through his mind as he watched the ground rush up to meet him. Oh, that was my shudder. <laughs> Amazing how well the body was preserved though. Maybe it's a robot. Oh, what if it's a robot like descending from the sky? And it's like he made this like awesome robot come up and maybe he's trying to conquer the world. <laughs> Hells, it's amazing there was a body left to bury at all. Hmm. I had a reason for bringing this up. Ah, right. So, Nashu, Hildebrand's erstwhile assistant, has since become an, in an inspector in her own rights. At present, she's investigating the queer rumours I mentioned earlier. She's a sweet lass, a bit daft but sweet nonetheless. So when I hear she's at wit's end, I want to help. Thing is, I prefer to meddle in the affairs of the living. Zombies are definitely not my forte. So if you're willing, I'd be grateful if you lent her a hand. As for where to find her, she's likely to visit Hildebrand's grave. Okay, so we've got to go and visit her in Eastern Fanalan and see if we can inspect the body of Hildebrand. I think this is going to be quite amusing. What if he's like half naked? <laughs> that would be embarrassing. We will see, we will see. Because I remember the statue of him, he just wears like shorts, like boxers and that's it. <laughs> it's not far to walk from the, from the town, so we really don't have far to go. I'm gonna pop on my little mount. Hopefully it's the bear. Come on, be the bear. Ah, well, the... What is it called again? I've forgotten what this mount's called. Bennu or something? Is it the Bennu? Yeah, the, the Bennu. The Bennu is a cool one too, because it has this, like, cool music. Even if it is a little bit, like, eerie and kind of, like, mysterious. I like the soundtrack. It's pretty cool. So, 
yeah, let's go up this way. I always use my mount, mount roulettes, so I always get like a different mount every time I summon one. I like that. I think it, it's a bit of Viaracy, and I like Viaracy. Okay, let's speak to this dude. Oh, I mean, I mean woman. It's a woman, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know why I thought it was a dude for a second. Oh, if only you were still alive, Inspector. You'd know how to stop these zombies. Oh my god, is that actually zombies? <laughs> Are they for real? Is she for real? For actually zombies? Ah! You there! Could it be? You've come to offer your services to me? Sure. Why not? I'll help. Oh, but where are my manners? Allow me to introduce myself. Ahem. <clears throat> My name is Nashu, Agent of Inquiries, Extraordinary Inspector. <laughs> nice to meet you. Oh, she looks sad. She just quickly went turned sad. At least, that's what I'm trying to be. It's not quite as easy as he made it look. Ah, oh, Inspector Hildebrand was a great man. A real Eorzean hero. Maybe he wanted to die so then people, like, think he's a hero? I don't know. <laughs> We travelled the world, me and him, solving cases and forcing evil, no matter the mystery. You could always count on the inspector to solve it with grace and style. Damn, I didn't know he was so respected. I don't really know much about him though, to be honest. But then, there was the final case. The case of the century, he called it. How to stop the Red Moon from destroying the world. Okay. And how does one do that? To save us all, he flew into the sky and all I could do was watch. What? <laughs> and then he, then he came back down and he... He... This doesn't sound right. <laughs> Why did he fly into the sky? Oh, looks like we're going to see. Awesome. It would be so funny if it was a robot. I don't know why I think it's a robot. Was it a robot? Did he make a robot? To be a hero of justice? That'd be funny. This is all a joke. A big funny joke, right, Inspector? Any moments now, you'll burst out of the ground and shout, Surprise! Had you fooled her? And, and, we'll laugh and laugh. Oh man, this is actually really grim. I was expecting this to be really funny. <laughs> this is really grim. Is he really dead though? Is he really dead? I don't know. I got a fishy feeling. They say, they say no one remembers the Warriors of Light. Their names, their faces, all gone, forever. But I remember you, Inspector. No, Gentleman Hero Hildebrand. Okay. <laughs> She must have been really close with him. Poor girl. I can never be the hero you were, but I'll try to do my best. What's she doing? Is she getting changed? Did she just get changed, like, in front of his grave and in the rain? I don't know what she did. I, Nashu, Inspector Extraordinaire, will carry on your legacy. Okay, I was actually expecting to find out a bit more about how he died or what actually happened. Maybe he really is dead. I actually thought it was like a fake death or something. So I told myself, well, Nashu, there must be a leader, a head zombie, who tells the rest what to do. Therefore, all we need to do is kill him. Again, that is. Unfortunately, I don't know where he is or how to find him, but now that you're here, my faithful assistant, you can try the one good idea I've come up with so far. If you go to where those dapper, zo dapper zombies, oh no, <laughs> it's going to be like gangster zombies, were last seen in the southern Fanalan, you might find them, and then you could, um, ah, you could become their friend and ask to meet their leader. Oh my god, yes, that's sure to work. Do you have a zombie disguise for me as well? No? <laughs> you should. Oh god, I gotta do a face. Falling corpses, writhe in style. Okay. 
Ah, oh, lucky! It's actually up as well. I don't know if that's a coincidence or what, but the fate we need is actually there as well. So that's awesome. I'm looking forward to doing this. Let's kill some zombies. Ah, oh, I can't go through that door. <laughs> that sucks. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe I could talk to the... Ah, okay, here we go. I never go through this entrance, so I don't know. Okay, let's do this. Do, 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 do. I like that soundtrack. It didn't last long. Wait, where are we? Oh, I've got to walk all the way around. Okay, one second. Okay, me and Kochab the bear have arrived. I'm gonna get off my, off my bear now and let's sink and oh my god, they actually pose. I've actually seen this fate, actually. I've seen this fate about and I was wondering what the hell the zombies were doing. <laughs> but I never realised what they actually were for. I just thought it was just like, just some weird random fate. So that's pretty awesome. Okay, a band of zombies has been exhibiting uncharacteristically civilized behavior of late, which has greatly unnerved the people of Fanalan. Dispatch the dapper undead for the benefits of the living. So then does that mean that Hildebrand is the leader of these zombies? Cause like no other person could make zombies act this way, right? <laughs> it's, it's just logical to think that it was him cause he's crazy. <laughs> Okay, let's murder some zombies with my bard. Should be quick to kill these. This is only level 46 and I'm level 60-ish. I got my first level 70 the other day, which was awesome. So happy about that. And yeah, let's just murder some zombies. Oh, I should have got my chocobo. I always forget to get my chocobo out. Okay, we've got some more here to kill. Why do they all have crowns on? Maybe that's just part of their their dapper style or something. I don't know. <laughs> okay, where's the other one? I got this one to get all the way down here. Here we go. Time to die. Be gone, villain. Do these zombies think they're heroes? Oh, I accidentally aggroed an Amalja Lancer as well. There we go. That one's dead. Got a few more over here to get rid of. Da, da, da. You are neither a gentleman or a zombie. No, you're correct. I'm not any of those. <laughs> Be gone, villain. Leave the gentle dead man in peace. So are these harmless zombies? <laughs> are they trying to say that they're good zombies? I've never heard of a good zombie. But okay, I keep aggroing things by accident. I don't mean to, honest. They just like, I don't know, they seem to be attracted to my bard. Okay, this might be the last one because the bar on the right hand side is quite full now. So we must be quite close to finishing this one. Da -da, have we done? Have we done? Or not? Nope. Okay, there must be like one more to get. Okay, let's get these zapper zombies down here. Do they all have the same weapon? Oh, they are different classes, I think. I think I saw one with a shield earlier, so there must be different classes. Okay. Get this one as well. Let's do some music. Ta da! Okay. Now it should be done. 100% should be done now. Okay, there we go. Alright, now what do I do? Show the curious parchment to Nashu. Okay. Got some teleporting to do. Hey Nashu, I've arrived with a letter from Dapper Zombies. Did you find the zombies? You did? That's wonderful. I've been busy too. The head zombie will rue the day he meets me. You'll see. So tell me, what did you learn? I don't know. What did I learn? I learned that there was weird zombies posing and doing weird things. <laughs> oh, so you weren't able to make new friends. That's a shame. But this parchment, there's a map of the Sagoli Desert. There's a spot marked here in the south. And look, there's something written here. A gentleman is rather than does. That sort of reminds me of, um, well, no matter. Let's see where this map takes us, assistant. Onward to the Sagoli. Okay, <laughs> off we go. Okay, it looks like this is going to complete the quest as well. So it's probably going to take like quite a few episodes or videos to actually finish this whole quest line. So let's see what she says. I don't think I misread the map. Maybe they're just shy though. I say we call out to them and let them know we come in peace. And when the leader shows himself, we strike. 
Yeah, that's probably not a good idea if it is who I think it is. Okay, I will go whether the wild rose blooms. A gentleman is rather than does. Uh, probably the middle one will get them to show, right? Probably. <laughs> yeah, I think I was right. Oh, God. Uh, uh, <laughs> brains. <laughs> Who summons the gentle dead men? They look like they're from the medieval times. <laughs> they live! They live! And we... We hunger. I want the brains. <laughs> look at the, the Mickey set. She looks adorable. Even though she's like panicking. She looks so cute <laughs> when she does that. My brothers, lend me your ears. A gentleman does not dine upon his guests. Who is this person? Is he really dead or is it just a zombie? Oh my god. What is that? How is he balancing on that? <laughs> He's not dead, is he? He doesn't look like a zombie. His skin's not blue. Spare these two fair ladies your mastications. Withdraw her, I say, and harass them no more. <laughs> well spoken, zombie. That is no zombie. Up in the sky. Look, it's a bird. No, it's an airship. No, it's the inspector. <laughs> It took her three guesses to get it right. <laughs> we hear and we obey. Damn! So the gold saucer owner actually commands a horde of zombies. Who would have funk it? <laughs> Damn, that was quite a harsh fall. Surprised he didn't turn into a zombie after that. <laughs> Broken all his bones. It is you! It really is you! I knew nothing could kill the great inspector Hildebrand. Hildebrand? Who is this Hildebrand of whom you speak? My name is Zombie Brand! <laughs> oh my god! Devourer of brains! Undead overlord extraordinaire! <laughs> That's quite funny. What are you saying? You're not an un undead overlord, you're a gentleman inspector. Well, he'd had a career change. God, he got bored. <laughs> Duh. Uh, uh, inspector. Overlord. Inspector. Overlord. It's like he's fighting in his mind what he wants to be. Why don't you just be both? <laughs> oh, Inspector. You're just confused as all. Don't worry. What is that? Are those bombs? I'll knock some sense back into that noggin of yours. Oh, jeez. Damn. So stay your hand, milady. You know not what you do. Well, you're a, you're a zombie anyway, so what's the harm? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Even if I were the esteemed gentleman you purport me to be, the concussive force of the blast is more like to liquefy my... If crashing into the ground made you forget, then an explosion of equal force ought to make you remember. I'll save you, Inspector, or kill you trying. Oh jeez, she's crazy. See? Even you acknowledge the possibility that this plan will result in my... Maybe she wants to kill you. <laughs> Maybe she's had enough of being your assistant. <laughs> Death. Oh no! Oh god, that facial expression. Wait, why did you smile at the end? <laughs> that was creepy. What? What? He was like shocked and then wow wow <laughs> what's happening <laughs> we need to help him i want to hear a pop so sound yeah we got a pop sound normally i would applaud your ingenuity nashu but i would have preferred that you found a more elegant solution so does he remember now ah he remembers me inspector hildebrand remembers me what a weird quest. Yes, yes, I remember you, my faithful servant. What I do not quite remember is how I came to be here. Don't look at me, I don't know. Oh, maybe I do. <laughs> I'm gonna find out now. What's happened to, made you, to make you want to become a master of a horde of zombies? And how did you fake your death like this? Why, why did you die? Like, what happened? We still have questions that need answering maybe it was maybe the assistant killed her all along i mean she just chucked bombs at him <laughs> so you never know <laughs> now nah, i'm just joking don't think it's that Such bad weather did he get struck by lightning 
And then that made him lose his memories. And then he turned into a zombie. I don't know. <laughs> oh, did he actually die then? I don't get it. What's happening? I guess I'm just being impatient. I have to watch and see what happens. Oh, wow. So he really did die. Because he just came out of his grave. He's got a flower in his hair. <laughs> ah, such a wonderful dream. I slew a dragon and you look beautiful with that lovely flower in your hair. Gorgeous. <laughs> hmm, what is this place? And for that matter, who am I? My God. There's an apocalypse in Final Fantasy XIV. It's now a survival game. <laughs> Why have they got like glowing parts? Maybe, oh, it might be Corrupted Crystal because I think Corrupted Crystal turns you into zombies, I believe. Well, this is awkward. What's going on? Okay, I wonder what kind of conversation they're having because it must be only speaking through body language. I'm not quite understanding what's going on there. <laughs> Strange. I don't know. I, Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire, have awoken at last. Yay! I... I always knew you would come back to us. Be it's Red Moon or Black Dragon, no fiend is a match for my legendary mites. I wonder if he's actually strong, I don't know. And who might this fine lady be? Hmm, could she perhaps be one of my many admire... Oh no, you got it all wrong. Oh, but what is this faint tingling sensation in my arm, this ringing in my ears, this dizziness? Could it be a case? What? Oh, I can't take any more Phoenix Downs because I already have one, apparently. So does that- oh, I think I've got to discard it just so I can complete the quest. That's annoying. I can skip the cutscenes though, so that's cool. Okay, so that's the first part of the quest done. In the next episode, we will be doing Back in the Saddle. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I found the first part of the quest very interesting. I gotta say, I loved the dapper zombies the best. They were just so funny, the way they were posing and stuff. And then you had to fight them. And the part with Nashu when she chucked the bombs at Hildebrand was quite amusing as well. Let me know your favourites. Let me know your favourite parts of this first quest in the comments section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Please comment, rate and subscribe and I hope I'll see you next time.